I just want to clear the energy. I'm doing this with Palo Stick, um, Bay Leaf. Bay Leaf is also good to keep in your wallet. Promotes good luck. So I just wanted to run cards tonight just to kind of see what the energy is. Because we have a lot of stuff going on, especially in like the QAnon world with the Patriots and the White Hats. It's exciting. Some of you guys that follow it, you know what I'm talking about. People that don't, you guys are going to be shook. amazing it just levels the playing field it just um, just proves that we are one and collective exactly I love it I love it that's amazing yay good job <laughs> there's a lot going on in the collective and I know that there's a lot of sheep and that kind of stuff and masks. And at this point, like I came out guns blazing, but I feel like at this point, I'm just like, <laughs> like, I don't, I don't know what else to do for you. Like, you know, and then some people, oh my God. And then some people may just need them and that's none of my business, you know? So this is amazing. Thank you. But I do think that the collective, I just did a Christ, Christ what did I do? Christ Pulse um, video. And I think people are really waking up. I really do. I think that there's a lot. Um, and when I say waking up, I'm saying like, just to the world around us, like just the, just all of it, you know, the, political side and then just the food, our food, our water, like, you know, and I feel like, I just feel like a lot of things are coming together and that's amazing. The moon, it's upside down, secrets are coming out. Typically, if it's this way, it's secrets. I would love, love to get the sun card. That's exposure. A lot of things are coming down the pipeline. All the conspiracy theory, theorists that were talking like years ago, even before whenever I started, I was just like, what the hell is this? Like, I, I didn't know, I didn't know what rabbit holes were what I was, I was confused as hell. And I'm like, but it makes sense. So let me, let me start to look into it. And it's like one domino after another domino, after, you know, and it's almost like whoever is really in charge of this huge takedown, which I do think that JFK Jr. has a lot to do with it because before he died, he did say, I will take the entire government down. And I feel like that's happening. You know, our currency is about to change. That's exciting exciting y'all it is really an exciting time to be alive mm, strife in reverse it is an exciting time to be alive but there are a lot of there are, are a lot of lessons that need to be learned right now um, and that's a lot of things are going on that are under our nose but we're not going to hear about it like on TV or anything like that. It's not, not going to be mainstream. It's almost like you have to look for it. One day it'll be mainstream. That's exciting. But on the flip side, it's not because the agenda is still kind of, they're still really trying to, you know, like push this agenda. It's, a lot of people have woken up though, you know, and again, I think when they say, for me, I think when someone says they're awake, they're just a little bit more conscious. They're just a little bit more aware of the world around them now. You know, understanding that 
what's in our water you know and they know that that's a huge source of supply it's huge you know and think some people are like oh well i don't drink tap water but you do when mcdonald's makes your tea <laughs> where's the water coming from it ain't bottled it's tap or whenever you go to the or um oriental is that right <laughs> when you get wonton soup what's that broth made of water tap you know they're sneaky very sneaky Ooh, hermit and rivers I mean I think also when you're when people are in such strife because for a long time we've lived under this kind of spell this illusion um, it's it's very much a man-made illusion that a lot of us have gone on for decades under thinking that this is the only thing or this is the only you know way that you have to do this or you know like even in, in school like I remember I did I didn't do I didn't like school at all I I, I want to be creative I need to put hands on you know I need to see visually what I'm doing and they didn't offer me that so I fell behind and traditional things man-made things are dangerous you know schooling systems um churches that kind of thing um groups uh you know even like private societies and things like that there, some of them yes can be very dangerous so you know I, I think once we start to wake up collectively as as citizens and then even across the board with um globally which i went like this and i actually think it's this <laughs> i do think that earth is flat i do the more that i dig down the rabbit hole it kind of just you know what maybe you know now now that now that i've gathered some information see before somebody just told me that it was round so i was like okay yeah it's round it's crazy to say it's not right then whenever you start to look and start to do your own research and look up said earth <laughs> and correlate it with the Bible, then you're kind of like, hmm, you know what? Actually, boom. Divine. The feminine, I think, are, are, are the most awake. Let me say that. If we're gauging it, right? Oh, or let's gauge it here. I think the feminine energy is here and then I think the masculine energy is here. You guys are a little slow, you know? We have a lot of women that are really starting to walk into their power and then you have the guys that are still on the tit. There's no balance. Understand that this energy that we carry, the frequency that we carry are both male and female energies. How you display them is one thing. How you carry yourself is also another thing. So when we're transitioning, even through this time, understand that the masculine has a lot of shadow work to do. The masculine has a lot of healing that they have to do. Because right now I feel like, I feel, I feel like, I feel like y'all need to catch up. You're right there, like almost like what's scaring you at this point, right? You know, we're like we're adults. Let's heal those those traumas and those wounds because you're barfing them on me. You know that kind of thing. So, I think the high priestess comes to. I mean, honestly, it's like yin and yang too. But I feel like she's here to also show us wisdom, divine wisdom within ourselves. And that's God's. And I do think that when Jesus scoffed at the Jews and he said, didn't I say that you guys were gods? I do believe that we are. Not the big Pumbaa. We're not that. We're just little pieces, specks of God walking around in meat suits, right? So this is, this is just what we're here for. 
well, we've been under the spell for so long that I feel like some of us walk around just almost not zombified, but you're just so, you're just so into your day-to-day -day basic, like routine that you're not actually living in your purpose of what you're supposed to do while you're here, you know? And I think that the guys are getting in such this routine that they don't understand that there, there needs to be a nurturing side to the feminine counterpart and there's not, you know? So hate to say that, but I do feel like it's, it, it, you guys will catch up. There just has to be like a little push, like, okay, you know, you guys know that you're divine and, and you try to stand in it, but behind the clothes, you know, closed doors and that kind of stuff, you're really not. You're kind of standing in the feminine power, you know, and there for a while, it seemed like men and then women were kind of doing this, like, like more women were standing in a masculine energy and then the man was in the feminine, you know, where the, where the the female who is standing in the masculine energy is now like kind of making sure that everything gets done, making sure that the kids are doing what they're supposed to do, making sure, you know, and meanwhile, the guy's just kind of sitting there not doing anything, you know? So when you balance those two is when I think you guys will catch up, <laughs> please, like, come on. But, and that's across the board. That's, that's not just like here where I'm at or whoever I'm talking to. There's there's countless humans that are waking up to the notion that there is something greater and that there is something past the traumas that we're carrying and and even the spells and the lies like like once some of this stuff like pops off i don't want you to i don't want you to be scared of it just like be shook it but then sit with it feel it allow yourself to feel it and then remove it, right? Like, I feel like if we hold on to, well, I can't believe that they would lie to me, you know? And, and again, that even goes, that even goes to your parents. You know, if if you are starting to realize that a lot of the things that your, your parents have told you are lies or, or even waking up to just the government lying to you and how dare them and that kind of, you know, that kind of, I mean, it's it's a valid response but just don't hold on to it too long because you don't want it to become disease, disease, disease. Okay. Because then that gets stuck in your chakra system within your body and you don't want that. Okay. So I'm going to do this, this, these were this deck and then I'm going to run. I do like keepers of the light. But I do feel like there is, there's a shift. And even with these moon phases, it's like some of these, some of these moon phases are actually like, they're really intense. You're like, okay, why am I crying? <laughs> you know, you're like, shit, I don't know where these tears are coming from, but let them go. You know, like let them come out. Don't try to muffle what your body is trying to do. Okay. And when I say that, your body keeps the score of every trauma, of every physical abuse. It keeps the score. Now, yes, bruises go away, but you remember that. And, and over time, if it gets stored, that's not good. Especially if it's like sexual abuse. If it's that, you're, I'm sure, that your sacral and then even your root chakra would be kind of disturbed. That's going to kind of fuck up those two chakras. I mean, but then your whole energy line is going to be affected too, you know? So once you get the, all of those kind of like aligned, you know, like if you've had a sexual abuse or anything like that, like I would start there. Cause some people ask like, where, where, where would I start? Think about your childhood. Do you have abandonment issues? I do. You know, do you have rejection issues? Absolutely. You know, but you have to be clear with your truth. Once you start to realize that that's your truth, then you can start to fix it. 
and then you don't have to be a people fixer because you're already people fixing. You know, you're fixing yourself. Yay, bravo. And that's honestly what we're here to do too. These are all lessons. And I talk about, on my snap, I talk about um, like our life, picture our life as like hotel floors. So the hotel floors, like let's say it's the lobby. The lobby is gonna be kind of um, chaotic, right? Everybody's looking for their room, trying to get situated and you know, get the kids out to the beach before everybody nets up. Well, as you ascend and you go up to the different floors, the things around you are going to be a little bit more clear. So on the bottom floor, no, you probably didn't see the pier and the shopette, right? But if you go up the floors, then you can see the pier and the shopette because your perspective is broader. Everything's a little bit more clearer. So as you start to wake up your consciousness, your awareness, your third eye, then you can start to see further. That's also like your Holy Spirit. You, you, you were given that. that. That's literally like a gift. That's you, you know? So when you learn to work with that, then you start to lift up the different floors. You know, along that, along that way, sorry, along the way, you are going to have to get rid of some of your baggage. And that's really hard. You know, if you, if you have um, past baggage that you have seemed to effortlessly just carry around with you throughout life, you're going to have to start to look at those, the shadow work, start to look at those and sift through it. D does that serve me anymore? If it doesn't, take it off the table. Does it serve me? Yes. Let's keep it. You know, is this person good for me right now? Off the table doesn't mean out of the life it just means you know what <laughs> you're just gonna sit over here for a little bit you know that kind of thing and and heal 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 that little girl that sat at the table and thought that the people in front of her that she held very close to her heart because they had a label they carried a label how dare they do something like that to me and I have a label too and I'm talking about like Father, daughter, mother, daughter, siblings, spouse, wife, wherever you fit, you, you have these labels, right? Everybody has some sort of like, like mom, dad, you know, asshole, whatever, <laughs> you know? So when you have these different labels, it's like when you're sitting there at the table and you're starting to analyze the people around you, and you're realizing that even these people with pretty high labels are treating you some type of way. You have a couple options to, um, to take. And some of those are going to be kind of shitty. Um, the options are going to be either like, you know how they say the high road, the low road. That's fine. Whatever. The high road is seeing the perspective and seeing that that person has not done the shadow work or that person has not done their healing. So what they've taken, just like you, you've just realized it, right? They're taking their past trauma into the next relationship, into the next relationship. And think about it. If your mom and dad were already kind of broken and they got together, had you split up, right? I would kind of think that they probably still have those same traumas. In that case, you have to kind of give them that. They didn't take the time to heal that particular trauma because it kept repeating throughout your life. So it's like, did you just stop? You know, so you kind of have to give it to them. And that's just like, okay. You know, like I, I can't control it, but I do know that I can control how I see you and right now, I understand with the compassion in my heart that you just have not healed yourself. I can see your traumas. You know, because when you healed yourself, you had to take at some point in the journey, you had to take a look at yourself. What are you doing? How do you treat people? Now, if somebody's an asshole to you, 
and you just always treat them like shit now that you see them <laughs> every time you see them you're like you know what there's that guy i'm gonna treat him like shit every time i see him <laughs> that's something that needs to be healed i have one of those people in my life oh there he is let's treat him like shit you know because i'm like it's i'm not healed i'm not healed Ugh. you know and it was damage that was that was trauma and my throat chakra just went, I know, look, when I'm preaching, it ain't just at you. <laughs> it's me too. Oh my gosh. It's Joan of Arc, a voice of truth. Hilarious. What'd I say? Um, stand strong. Focus on your purpose. Thank you. Oh my God, I love this. Um, release the fear of persecution and speak your truth. I love that. Yep, speak it. And if you don't, your throat chakra gets messed up. Just like your sacral, sacral and your root, every, every chakra has a reason, is connected to like a thing, heart, right? Solar, sacral, sacral is your uter uterus. That's sacred. That's why anytime you have sex with somebody, you are taking on those particular characteristic, those spirits, within yourself now you have that and if you're sleeping around with a lot of people you're picking up a lot of their shit so if you start to like feel like wow i kind of feel suicidal yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> you should you know like you're you're not getting their good spirits you're getting the the bad from them that's a sexual energy there's a sexual energy so I love you guys. Have a good night. I will catch you on the flip side.